what do we have here? Well, we have some tissue. It looks rather pink here. It looks bluer here. And it kind of looks intermediate over here. This is a parathyroid gland. And the name of the disease we're going to be discussing is tertiary hyperparathyroidism. Well, primary hyperparathyroidism occurs whenever there is an increased amount of parathyroid tissue, like hyperplasia or neoplasm. Secondary hyperparathyroidism occurs when the parathyroid gland pours out increased amount of parathyroid hormone, usually in response to abnormalities in serum, in serum calcium levels. Tertiary hyperparathyroidism occurs following secondary hyperparathyroidism for prolonged periods. So it all is a situation of where is the primary insult occurring at. If it occurs in the parathyroid, it's primary. If it occurs in serum calcium disturbances, it's secondary. And if it dis occurs with chronic prolonged secondary, this is often called tertiary. Notice that this parathyroid gland uh, has a lot of tissue. Normally, the weight of a parathyroid gland should only be about, oh, 50 milligrams. I've seen it as low as 30 or as high as 65, but let's say 50 milligrams or about the size of a half a piece of rice is about the normal uh, size and weight of a parathyroid gland. Note that this hyperplastic response is not only the chief cells, which are the darker cells, but they're also the oxyphil cells, which are the redder cells. And this is important because if you thought that this parathyroid was enlarged primarily because of a tumor, it would be more likely that the cells would be of one cell type because tumors are usually monoclonal of one cell type. But if you see the parathyroids enlarged and both cell types are present, both the chief cells here as well as the oxyphil cells here. This is more likely due to a secondary or tertiary type of hyperparathyroidism. And thank you very much.